What's up, guys? Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another FC24 video. It is 6 p.m. What day is it? Wednesday. It is Wednesday. It's Wednesday. That means a new team of the week, doesn't it? Uh, which is quite nice. My solar wire is like hanging on. Um, let's see what EA have given us to, for today. Of course, guys, if you're enjoying the content, feel free to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Look at that. I need one, two, three, four XP for level 24. Uh, do we have anything new today? I'm running out of time on... Oh, we do. Oh, wait. I ran out of time on Matt Target. I didn't finish him. I thought I had one more day for some reason. We have got footies Kristen Hamilton. We need five goals with 93 pace, two goals from outside the box, play five games, win four games with three players from the United States for a 94 rated Hamilton, five foot four medium low work rates, already an L for the work rates, five star, four star, striker and center forward, great pace. Honestly, genuinely, I mean this like sincerely, for this stage in FIFA, this is an absolutely atrocious card. Target was a very good card. I think Palhinia is not an awful card. You know, with a shadow on him at centre back, he's decent. This this card is awful. Like average shooting stats, poor passing, very average dribbling stats, reasonable physicals. He's got tricks to plus. Technical plus and rapid plus with first touch, flair and press proven, then pinged pass and finesse shot plus. Disgraceful lack of play style options. You know, we need to have quick step and relentless on here. Maybe acrobatic, maybe another passing play style. But I get it as an objective card, but that is awful. If you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an extra 6% off using promo code NEP at checkout. And so with that, guys, let's have a look at whatever else EA have or haven't given us for today. Nothing in seasonal or milestones. Did we get a cheeky Wednesday evolution? I don't think we did. We didn't. We didn't. Why would we? Genuinely, why would we? EA are very uh, stubborn in their ways. So for the SBCs for today, we've got the 93 plus greats of the game footies team one or team two icon player pick back again. Uh, I will be doing this just because I really want the Arsenal icons out of this. The 86 plus player pick, the 84 by 10, the 81 plus player pick, the team of the week and the gold upgrades still in my favourites. We've got 95 Raheem Sterling. Now, he was in concepts, I believe, yesterday. So this was not unusual to see him here. He's five, five star skill moves, four star weak foot. Can play left wing, left mid, right wing, and striker. Great pace. Other than volleys, very good shooting. Other than composure, very good dribbling. Okay passing, okay physicals. <sighs> I mean, it's only slightly better than that Hamilton card, I can't lie. Quick Step Plus, Technical Plus, and Rapid is good. Press Proven Plus is amazing. First Touch is good. Trickster Plus. Trickster Plus is okay if they've got Power Shot Plus or Finesse Shot Plus and you know how to abuse it. Otherwise, Trickster Plus is genuinely a wasted playstyle for most people. Uh, incisive Pass, Tiki Taka, and Whip Pass. The fact that we've got a winger that has no passing playstyle plus and no scoring playstyle plus is honestly just poor. Again, like m much like the Hamilton one, it's like, I get it, right? No, no, do you know what? Throughout the most of the course of the game cycle, I get it when EA don't give us meta end game or top of the power curve cards because there's a lot of room for growth. There's a lot to play for. There's a lot to play with. You know, you, not every card is about being this insane card or whatever. I don't know what the excuse is now. I, I don't even want to try and make an excuse for EA on their behalf. There's no reason why this card isn't 97 rated with 5 star, 5 star and, you know, 10 more physical and like finesse shot plus and ping pass plus in place of trickster plus. Maybe like press proven is pretty good, but there's no reason why this card doesn't have all five silver play styles in passing and scoring. There's no reason why this card doesn't have relentless. There's no reason why this card can't have acrobatic. Like, there's just no reason to make this card so far behind the current power curve that is laughable. Um, it's a bit frustrating, I can't lie. Um, 
Now, three squads for Raheem Sterling, an 87, an 88, and an 89. As always, with the current state of the game right now, it doesn't matter what the, what the squad requirements actually are because it's just really easy to complete anyway. I am burning through um, the SBCs with like my upgrades and things like that. Um, let's do an 84 by 10 just to kind of like showcase the issue. I'm only going to do one. I might even have dupes anyway, but um, I need a team of the week or a team of the season. Have we got one? We've got Anton there. And then I need a bunch of, uh, what do I need? I think I need 184 and the rest 83s with this current setup. Um, as always, my fodder game, very strong. Very strong indeed. Let's get these 83s in. Yeah, like Rashford from the season pass, just much better. It's, it's just, it, uh, I just don't understand. I just don't understand. Like I say, I, I get it, right? Like during the regular game cycle, I get that kind of notion to release an SBC or an objective that's a little bit behind the power curve, but more affordable for people that can't just get anything and have everything. We're at a stage of the game now where the, the grind is literally, and I mean literally, infinite, right? Which means even though, like, we'll, we'll go to the icon section in a minute to, like, kind of, like, fully explain it. But even though I think the Butragueno SBC is bad value because it's just too many squads for no good reason, I would rather Raheem Sterling be, like, a 97 or 98 rated card with 25 squads than this garbage 95 rated squads. What else have we got? Nothing by looks things. Then this garbage 95 rated squad. Sorry, 95 rated cards. Yeah, like this Butcher Gwenyo here. We've got a new icon. No. This Butcher here, apparently he's really good in game. And it doesn't surprise me. He's got technical plus and rapid plus. He's got first touch plus, finesse shot plus, which is banging. Press proven and traveller, which is real nice. Max pace, insane dribbling, insane uh, shooting, decent physicals, decent passing, five-star, five-star, high-low work rates. Makes sense, right? 24 squads is insane. 100%. But I would much, much, much rather Raheem Sterling be 97 rated with 5-star, five 5-star. Five have a look at him again. If this was 97 rated with 5-star, five 5-star five instead of 5-star, five 4-star, doesn't even have to be high-low work rates, although it would be preferable. And then 99 pace, 10 more physical, and 5 more composure. I'd be looking at this card, and, and then a, a scoring or passing play style plus. I'd be looking at this card going, what a card. What a great card. But the current state of this card is there is literally, if you take into consideration, make your mark on path to glory that is blessed with 95s, all the evolutions we've had recently that jack people up to 95s, the footies cards that have all been 95s, the objective cards that have all been 95s, people's foot champs rewards and rivals rewards over the last like several weeks that have all been 95 pluses. What's the point? I know, like, it might be a little bit extra, like... But I've given EA so much credit recently for some of the cool things that they've actually done on this game over the last two or three weeks. There's been a lot of things that I look at and I think, yeah, do you know what? That's solid. The exchange is solid, but whatever. But this week, the A1 Plus player pick being back is garbage. No, like, you know, it's, it, the, infinite, the grind is infinite, so it's not the end of the world, but it's garbage. The evolution that came yesterday was garbage. The... This, the the Butrugueno was garbage. This Raheem Sterling is garbage. Like, I just... I don't know what happened this week. I don't know what happened this week. What a pack. See, fodder, fodder, guys. Fodder is everywhere. Fodder is everywhere. Let's get on to uh, Footbin and Foot.gg. I do love Footbin. I, I, st I still rate Footbin's um, like-to-dislike ratio better. Wait. Let's try and start a new. Where's he? But no, Butra is not garbage in terms of the player. It's just in terms of the requirements for the SBCs. So he's in. So Bastian Schweinsteiger is in concept. So he's obviously going to be an SBC then. What have we got? Four star, five star, ping pass plus, long ball pass plus, intercept plus, and power shot plus. Love that. Whip pass, incisive pass, technical, relentless, and press proven. Good shooting from range, great passing, very good physicals, decent defending. Yeah, not a bad card. This will probably be like a 10 to 12 
Ford SBC. It's not a bad card. It's, it's not like a great card or anything. I, I wouldn't mind an engine on him, to be fair. Not a bad card. Re like, really, really like key play styles. It's going to depend. Like, this is a sore card rest. If this is like six squads, like, let, let's take it like the. Um, if this is an SBC like Van Persie or like a Billy in terms of price, or even like Kaka in terms of price, I'll be sitting there going, like, yeah, do you know what? Solid. It's not the greatest card, but it's not bad. It is definitely usable. It's serviceable and it's cheap to put together. Calm. I don't mind it. This Hamilton, tr like genuinely atrocious. I don't know what, they th what they're thinking with this card. Marksman's pointless. She's tiny. You don't need physicals. Maestro gives her decent passing, decent shooting, decent dribbling. Terrible play styles. Like terrible play styles. And where's, uh, where's Raheem Sterling? Raheem Sterling here. I think probably a maestro on him as well. Great dribbling, low composure, great shooting, low volleys. Nobody cares about penalties. Volleys this year is the first year, I think, in a while that volleys are actually relevant. Okay passing, okay physical. Five-star, four-star. Pretty Honestly, like pretty poor play styles for Sterling for me. Like I say, like unless you're somebody who like really understands how to abuse Trickstar, it's almost not a play style. Doesn't even matter. No passing or scoring play style pluses on Sterling is poor. I just don't I, like me. I I personally don't like that one, guys. I don't think that's a, a good card there. Prime Stark is interesting. Uh, let's have a look then. Active SBCs. Yeah, massively downvoted and rightfully so because it's just. It's just terrible. It's just terrible. Um, and I think, like I say, I think the content in general, this was good. The 94 part, that, that from yesterday was good. Openda I actually thought was good. Because, look, like, look, his price is relative and reasonable to the card that you get for Openda. And then, especially with the correct uh, chem style, what was it? Marksman, I think, on him. Yeah, I mean, that's a banging card, right? That, that, especially for the requirements, that's a banging card. And it's just way better in terms of like play styles and stuff. The only thing I did have as a complaint about this Openda as well, and again, I don't I don't understand EA's perspective with this one, is I don't understand how you could be releasing a striker in by the time most people are watching this August without a scoring play style plus. Um, but Openda's not terrible, terrible. I don't mind him. The A1 plus player picks are poor. The 86 plus player picks are poor. Werner was decent. Van Persie was decent. The 93 plus was very good. The 86 by 3 was okay. 84 by 10, of course, we all love. But his crafting upgrade was legit. I mean, it's been really, really hit and miss this week, hasn't it? It's been really hit and miss. The SBCs have either been absolutely phenomenal or absolutely atrocious and not a lot in between. Why is Gray uh, here? Is he, was he evoable, was he? Oh, yeah, look at that. It's a pretty mad card, to be fair, isn't it? He's already had some good cards this year and some good evos this year as well. Um... But yeah, that's going to be it for today. A uh, bit of a moany video. Uh, I'm not even sorry on this occasion. Sometimes I, I try and find the good in what EA... I try, and, I try and understand why EA do things sometimes the way they do them. Even if it doesn't suit me personally, I try and kind of make sense of what it means in the game's like regard. I, I don't get it with Sterling, and I don't get it with... Um, what's her name? Hamilton. I, I just don't get it. I, I don't understand the point... Oh, we've got a lot of transfers in as well. Um, I don't understand the point in some of these players. Um, maybe there's some transfers there, though. But that is going to be the end for today. As always, thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I will see you next time. I'm out. Peace.